Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Tombstones and Travels. With all the excitement surrounding NASCAR's return to the North Wilkesboro Speedway, I decided to make the trip down to Wilkes County and check out the historic old track. As you can see, the old racetrack that was founded in 1946 is today getting a much needed facelift in preparation for hosting the NASCAR All-Star Race in May of 2023. Workers are busy getting the old place ready to host the thousands of NASCAR fans who will once again flock to Wilkes County in just a few weeks. The North Wilkesboro Speedway was a vision of a man named Enix Daly, who in 1945 attended a stock car race in South Carolina that was sponsored by none other than Bill France. Enix returned to North Wilkesboro the idea of building his own racetrack. The original plans for the Speedway called for it to be a half mile oval, but when money ran out they were forced to make some changes. So rather than being a half mile oval, the Speedway became 5 8 mile, with a unique feature of having the front stretch run downhill and while the cars on the back stretch would run uphill. Enix secured the help of Big Bill France to help him promote that first race at the Speedway on May 18, 1947. A crowd of about 3,000 people was expected to see the modified race on the North Wilkesboro dirt. But to everyone's surprise, more than 10,000 fans showed up to watch the race. In October 1949, the Speedway held its first NASCAR sanctioned race when it hosted the NASCAR Strictly Stock Division. The race featured the Flock Brothers and Red Baron, who went on to become the very first NASCAR champion. In the 1950s, some of the early stars of NASCAR raced on the North Wilkesboro dirt, including Speedy Thompson. Fireball Roberts, Lee Petty, Buck Baker, and Wilkes County's own Junior Johnson. In 1958, the Speedway saw that the popularity of stock car racing was taking off, and with longer and bigger tracks being built, Enig knew that he would have to change. So in 1958, the North Wilkesboro dirt was replaced by pavement. Over time, super speedways were built in Daytona, Charlotte, and Talladega. NASCAR's popularity was at an all-time high. And seeking to expand its brand, NASCAR began leaving its southern roots in favor of places like California, Chicago, and the Northeast. But North Wilkesboro and Martinsville remained popular, and they retained their place on the NASCAR Winston Cup schedule. North Wilkesboro's luck would run out when NASCAR chose to abandon the track following the 1996 season and the Speedway was forced to close its gates. Over the years, there were attempts to revive the old Speedway, but each of those attempts failed. For the better part of a quarter century, the old Speedway in Wilkes County sat neglected and abandoned. Then, in 2022, NASCAR, which had been declining in popularity for a number of years, made the decision to return to its roots by announcing that it would be holding its 2023 All-Star Race at the North Wilkesboro Speedway. Work on the Speedway began immediately for the past year, millions of dollars have been spent on giving the Speedway new life while retaining the historic charm that NASCAR fans of old once cherished. No doubt, in a few weeks, when fans once again walk through the gates of the North Wilkesboro Speedway, they'll be greeted by the ghost of racers past. And if they stop long enough, they may be able to 
Spell Miss Flossie's Fried Chicken. After finishing up my quick visit to the North Wilkesboro Speedway, I felt that it was only appropriate that I head over to the Antioch Baptist Church Cemetery and pay my respects to the man who built that little speedway here in the hills of Wilkes County. Here in this small rural Baptist Church Cemetery, we're going to visit the grave of Enix Daly. Now before someone finds it necessary to correct me in the comments, on the way here, I did stop at a little roadside store and was talking with a few of the locals who did inform me that the correct pronunciation was Enoch Staley and not Enoch Staley. Enoch Rufus Staley was born here in Wilkes County on April 8, 1918. Being raised here in Wilkes County, Enoch and his brother Gwen were very familiar with the moonshine steels of the area and the whiskey runners that gave birth to the sport of stock car racing. After seeing a race promoted by Bill France in South Carolina, Enoch returned to Wilkes County where he set about building his own racetrack. The track was originally scheduled to be a half mile oval, but due to financial issues that forced design changes, became a 5 8 mile track that has a unique feature of not being exactly level. Cars run downhill on the front stretch and uphill on the back. Enoch was a charter member of NASCAR and worked tirelessly to ensure the success of his speedway and to promote NASCAR stock car racing. And with the help of Bill France, Enoch held his first NASCAR sanctioned race on the North Wilkesboro Dirt in 1949. Over the years, larger tracks with their fancy suites and amenities were built, but Enoch and North Wilkesboro retained that down home charm that was the roots of NASCAR. He tried to keep his ticket prices affordable and didn't gouge fans at the concession stand. And the races was filled with fender banging excitement. Fans were still flocking to Enoch's little speedway here in the hills of Wilkes County, but NASCAR felt that it had outgrown its southern roots. While tracks like Rockingham and Darlington were losing their NASCAR dates, to places like California, Chicago, and Texas, Enoch fought to keep NASCAR at Wilkesboro. He was still fighting that battle when he passed away at the age of 77 on May 22, 1995. A year later, at the end of the 1996 season, NASCAR abandoned the Speedway at North Wilkesboro. Terry Labonte won the spring race and Jeff Gordon won the final Holly Farms 400. Resting just a couple of plots over from Enoch is his brother Gwen, who was a talented race car driver and, like so many others, got his start running moonshine on the back roads of Wilkes County. When NASCAR came to town, Gwen Staley was one of the sport's early pioneers. In addition to racing in North Wilkesboro, Gwen was a regular to Hickory Motor Speedway. In fact, he won the first race ever held there. He raced in NASCAR's Grand National Division, where he won three times and finished in the top five 23 times. Eight days after finishing second in a NASCAR Grand National race in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Gwen was racing in a NASCAR Convertible Division race in Richmond, Virginia. Early in the race, Gwen Staley was involved in a crash passed away from his injuries on March 23rd, 1958. He was only 30 years old.
Enoch would rename the spring NASCAR Winston Cup Grand National Race to honor his brother. For many years, NASCAR fans flocked to the North Wilkesboro Speedway to attend the Gwen Staley 400. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you've enjoyed my visit to the North Wilkesboro Speedway and to the graves of its longtime president, Enix Staley, and his brother, NASCAR driver Gwen Staley. While I was recording this video, I had many fond memories of attending races here at Enix Little Speedway in the hills of Wilkes County. I hope that if any of you have memories of the North Wilkesboro Speedway or remember Enoch and Gwen Staley that you'll share those memories with us in the comments. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as you well know, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Now, until next week, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Please take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.